It's Brian here from Stroud Homes at Brisbane South. Uh, we're out on site today, as you can probably see. It's a lovely day. Uh, we're standing on a slab that has been poured uh, relatively recently, within the last week or so. Um, because I wanted to have a talk to you about structural slabs, and then we'll have a chat about wind rating. So, just with these two very important parts of the uh, construction of your new home, a little bit of detail to fill you in on. Firstly, uh, at Stroud Homes, when we pour your home slab, we pour everything in a single pour. Looking at the image on your screen, you can see the home slab, the alfresco and the porch have all been poured together. This means there will be no cracks, there will be no joins. If the alfresco or the porch is poured later on, I must admit like some other builders do, and the reason they do that is because it's cheaper, um, you will have cracks, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Now, the building code, it does allow these areas to be poured separately, but Stroud Homes won't do that. Why? Quite simply, a separate pour will result in cracks at the joins, allowing weeds, ants, and even termites to penetrate. Uh, just to my right here is, is the um, porch, and I just want to have a little uh, walk over here, if you could come with me for a sec, because I want you to be uh, able to see the alfresco. Um, so just on my right here now is the alfresco, and as you can probably see fairly clearly, that has been poured at exactly the same time, so there's going to be um, no problems in terms of uh, the joins or cracks. Um, look, the other reason that we do a single pour is we want the entire slab to be structural concrete throughout. Most builders will only pour the porch and the alfresco um, as standard concrete, not structural. There's a big difference. Okay, so let's have a quick word on uh, wind rating. So Stroud Homes build to an N3 wind rating as standard. Uh, even if the test results come back as less, uh, for instance, if it comes back as an N2, we will still build to an N3 standard. Um, most blocks will be N2 or N3, but if you are building in an elevated and exposed area, that is to say uh, no wind breaks uh, from trees or bushes or other homes, you may be in an N4 or an N5 area. So to summarise today, two questions to ask your builder. One, do you pour everything as a single pour and is it poured as structural concrete? Two, what level of wind rating do you build to? Um, just as a matter of interest, just up here on my left, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a home at the top of the hill that quite possibly, I don't know for sure, but quite possibly will fall into that N4 category. Um, you can probably see there's no trees uh, around it directly and there's no other homes to get protection. All right, look, I hope you've actually uh, picked up some information um, and facts about uh, today's discussion and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.